Wow, I'm glad I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait! Holy missing links! Sly, that's a prehistoric raccoon! I wonder if he could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility! Let's help him out. Sly, I have an idea. But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin. And just don't let the guards see you. I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. Well, look who's at the party. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That cane man's club! Nothing but almost like a... cane? Sly, you need to... I think you might want to use the paraglider here, Sly. This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now! Hold that big fool still! Ah. Ah, Grizz, you paint so sweet, it look good enough. You got the key! Go grab that tiger skin, Sly! Excellent, Sly! Now get that tiger skin! Huh. Not really my color, but I'll make it work. Way to go, Sly! Now get going! Outstanding, Sly! That saber tooth skin is just what we need! If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I believe those claws will give you extra traction, allowing you to make some amazing leaps. Try using a leap to cross that gap! Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target.
Like, you can even use that outfit to take out enemies from a distance. Try targeting the guard across that gap. Yo, make it quick with that stick. The Grizz don't play. I ain't got all day. Now that's what I'm talking about. Here's the cheese. Now I want to talk to your boss about my goods. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Sly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get him out of there. This is the perfect situation for your Cyclone Pounce. sure I see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it your way. We got Bob safely back to the hideout where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called Paleo Graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just... bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape, which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, 
but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox, and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast.